This is the episode art for the Pickled Patrons podcast, episode 63, The Goodest of Heck Puppers. I am making the art on a Huion Canvas Pro 13 Creative Pen Display and using the program Krita and screen recording with Active Presenter. Krita and Active Presenter are both free programs. I'm still new to Active Presenter, but it's working, and I heartily recommend Krita. Gilbro's hair is fire, so I just use the asset for the lava as well. I haven't ever used this asset to be such a large part of the picture before. Were I to do it again, I would probably have it be further in the background and just colored over it, rather than erasing all the little bits and coloring under it. But it worked out. Just a bit more work. Backgrounds are one of my favorite things to do. I love playing with the textures and the colors. It's also nice to do something where it doesn't really matter how I decide to do it, but it has a big effect on the overall feel of the end result. And it's just fun. The backgrounds are the things that have changed the most over time. Episode 1 has almost no background. They're all just floating in a white void with a little smoke overhead and a little fire in the bottom corners. Another change is the color samples asset. It took me until episode 39 to create that. Before then, I was just copy pasting the previous episode, renaming it, and starting a new layer. Now I have the swatches all nice and orderly. I always know where to find them and I don't have to scroll through pages and pages of layers, potentially drawing on the wrong layer, which I did often. Still do. Another of my favorite parts is after I've grabbed all the colors and dotted the characters, I like pausing and looking at them as little dot monsters. It just amuses me to no end. When I am drawing a creature, I always have to find a balance between my chosen art style and having it look epic, or at least accurate. This heck pupper was one that I wanted to draw really well. However, it would be several hours to make it look epic, and I usually sit down to draw with no ideas of what I'm drawing after work while Rob finishes up the edit and they need the art to post the episode in two hours max. I enjoy this art style aesthetically, but it also allows me to turn something out in an hour or two. The ones I'm really proud of are the ones where I have an iconic moment or something in the episode that just stuck out to me and am burning to make the art. On those, I often do the sketch a day or so before, so I have more time to work on it. You can find the Pickled Patrons podcast on your podcatcher of choice, as well as at pickledpatrons.com and as Pickled Patrons on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, though I'm not great at keeping up with the social part of social media. Maybe that's something I could work on. Maybe not. Until next time, have a great day.